Well, I've had to stop the time lapse because look at this, old Brummy Josh. What, what do you say it was? Forty-one pound catfish. Forty-one pound. <laughs> I feel like my YouTube videos aren't. I should be fishing. Yeah. Forty-one pound. Johnny, it took two of you to hold it, man. Fair play. <laughs> Excuse me. So we're all loaded. A uh, drill for the docks. Merlot to get it off at the docks. And uh, we're going for now. I might give her a quick scrub now. You can watch me do that via time lapse if you like. If not, skip it. Well, this is either going to work or it's not. I'm not sure how we're going to do this, but there we go. Let's try this. Might get a bit loud. Yes, I am filming it for YouTube. <laughs> come on, hey. Yeah, come here, come here. Yep. Hi guys, I want to introduce you to two very special people. This is George's son, and this is George's son's brother, Joe and John. Yeah. Joe and Joe. <laughs> James and Joe. James and Joe. Hey. <laughs> hey, when you're good, you're good. I can't help that. Yeah. Right. So. We're just letting her soak. Oh, look at it. Got dirty, she was a dirty girl, you're right. Dirty truck seats, clean sponge for hot, wet fun. Oh yeah, oh, go on then, throw one up. Honestly, I just, you've been itching to do that, ain't it? <laughs> so, yeah, so, like I said, she is dirty. It's only a little clean today, we're just gonna give it a once over. And then, uh, yeah, because the sun is out for once. So that'd be nice, driving in the sunshine. It's been so wet this week. So no Germany videos, unfortunately. There was a little bit where you said it was hailing or snowing, whatever you want to call it. That was horrific. Also, while we're here doing this, that tire looks flat. I'll have to have a look at that in a minute. Um, yeah, just want to say a few hellos. So EVP, you know who you are. So I've been asked by your by your daddy to say hello to you. So there I am, Ed P, big Ed P, respect to the man. Um, also, all my new subscribers, nice to see you. Thanks for coming along, and uh, it's only going to get worse. So see you soon. <laughs>
Well, we're going to try something different today. Oh, let's get a little clunk clicked in. Merlot on board just in case things get a bit difficult down there. Uh, oh, listen to that V8. Oh. So, I have made a camera mount. <laughs> now, you can't see me doing it, but I'm using inverted commas. I insert the picture of it here. <laughs> Arts and crafts with Mayor Francis. Right, so I'm making a camera holder because I'm too, you know, if only they made one that you could use, you know? So what I've done, I've cut an hole in here. You can see where it'll go in. The phone will now go this side, but you can't see that. So the phone will go this side and then I'll look through this hole and then all you'll see is what I'm doing. Yeah, <laughs> beeping Tom's though, yeah. <laughs> yep. Hello, well, here is the uh, camera mount. Yep, yeah, I know, I know. But I cut that hole out so that when my phone's in it, I can see, because obviously my phone just slides in like that, but this way. Hope that explains it. Yep, there you go. And welcome back. So, yeah, I mean, it's holding the phone and you lot are seeing me drive, so that's what the people want. Right, got to be... Uh, bit PC today because we have got younger viewers watching this channel again thank you for the new subscribers because uh, you know without you there's no point me doing any videos is there so thanks for watching I think it's going the right direction no pun intended there obviously I need to show you I'm a bit of a yeti at the moment I have to have a word with an office on that one so yeah we'll get a bit more of the uh, Get a bit more of the action uh, a bit further into the video. I'm not sure whether we'll be allowed to film any unloading now as well. So uh, it is a it's a maritime um, you know the transport company maritime over in the UK. You Americans won't have heard of them, but they might have maritime over in the UK, America. I don't know. It's probably called something like Seaco or something. Like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, just walk across, mate. It's fine. I don't worry about seeing you. Um, yeah, it's like, see, it's basically a containerized transport, uh, you know, so that's where I'm going, so when I don't, I don't know if you guys got the same, uh, I don't know what's worse, containers or fridges. Uh, I would probably put fridge just slightly higher, or lower, sorry, than, than containers, because, oh, containers is boring. A lot of sitting around, but then fridges are oh, listening to that thing, and wah, all day. Right, I've yacked on enough. We'll get her on the limiter and uh, we'll see you uh, next time something, you know, interesting happens possibly. How's that? Alright, drive! <clears throat> well, we made it down to Stoke and Church and as predicted, zero has happened. Um, but sun's still out, which is nice. Uh, we'll be going up Stoke and Church Bank and everything. And she's not fully loaded, but she ain't far off, so... You'll probably hear her grunting a little bit going up here, because it is a reasonably steep hill, to be honest. Not in the terms of, you know, America 
walking around in there. Uh, as Australian, not anything I would imagine it probably has. Uh, anyway, like I said, you'll see the hill in a minute. It is only a hill, it's not a mountain range or it's not the Canadian Rockies or in the Grand Canyon. I think that's in America, Canada as well, isn't it? Well, I don't know, I'm not good at geography. Let me know where you're from, you know, is Canada in the Grand Canyon? Uh, Grand Canyon in Canada, right? Uh, uh, what we got is an elevation. I'll give you an elevation, actually, because the old John Joe's got a, like, 126 meters at the moment above sea level. I don't know how, I'm not going to say it's calibrated, because I know it isn't. Uh, right, I'll let you enjoy the sounds of the VA, and um, I'll tell you at the top. We weren't allowed to get any video of us unloading um, due to just basically it being an absolute hold. Um, it was an headache from start to finish. I pulled up there. Yeah, we can lift it. No, we can't lift it. Which turned into, luckily enough, I brought the Merlot, so I just push it straight on to the uh, the flat racks. So I had a feeling it was going to be like that, but. That's why I kind of took the Merlot because every doctor we've ever been to has always been the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll get to your drive. We've got to you now, drive. We can't do the job. So, you know, 
it is what it is. It's not their fault, but they are busy. They do see a lot of random, abnormal stuff, but I mean, our stuff is really random, so. Yeah, so I didn't really get anything of that unloading because it was just, you know. I'm not holding a camera when man's gotta get on and busy, you know. If I've got time to and I can, then I will, but it just weren't happening there, you know. I, it, you can tell. You know when it's one of them sorts of jobs. So that's how that's finished and that's the end of that video. But what I will do is probably find someone else to do this week and stick it on the end of that. So at least you'll have something to watch. A satisfying process of loading, unloading and getting rid of it to the farmer. So, Well, as you can see, a police car has just pulled it me over. There he goes. I do. So, it's my own fault, isn't it? You know, drove past all them services that isn't along here. I failed to plan my journey, didn't I? Yep, everyone fails to plan their journeys. I argued it, but of course, doesn't matter, does it? I'm going to be wrong. So, 50 quid for having me break. Well, it is, isn't it? Another reason why it doesn't matter what you do, you're going to be screwed regardless. Uh, you know. I said to him, would you rather me drive over my drive time and be dangerously tired? Not that that's really a thing, but there we go. <coughs> I said, I did try and come off, I said, but there's no, all the lay boys are full back at there, which they were. So yes, I am stopped on the slip road, and yes, I do know that is illegal. However, it's not exactly the world's busiest junction. And I am a fair way off from the live lanes of traffic. I know it's illegal, I know it is, I'm not disputing that. But is it really that much of an offence when there's... A lot worse going on. Yeah. What would you do? What would you do? You know, I did argue with him and it, I said, he said it's black and white, which yes it is. He's in black and white and I'm wrong. You know, that's it, isn't it? I can, what can I do? Doesn't really make no, uh, doesn't make it any right or wrong that I'm stopped here. But what's the difference between this or a dual carriageway? Because they're both 70 miles an hour limit. There ain't, is there really? Just one solid white line, that's the only difference. Still, right, well, we're just paid a fine, you know, it's not like I need money.